This week on Inside Boulder News, community partners continue to address homelessness in Boulder. Commuting to town just got a little easier for those who want to leave their cars at home. And a unique relationship between the CU sorority and the Boulder Police Department is paying off on University Hill. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, I'm Ashley Prill. Finding solutions for homelessness in Boulder continues to be a top priority for local leaders and community members. Last week, we showed you how Boulder's Bridge House kicked off its housing renovation project, which will provide a home for 48 ready-to-work participants. The ready-to-work program provides paid vocational training and support services to homeless individuals re-entering the workforce. This week, the focus shifts to homeless families and the efforts of another valued nonprofit organization in Boulder, the Emergency Family Assistance Association. So today is our groundbreaking on the 16th Street Transitional Housing Project that has been in the works for a long time to bring more transitional housing, uh, which is up to two years for families to help them stabilize. We also provide case management services throughout to link them with critical services to help them uh, move towards self-sufficiency. This is a critical need in the city and the county. EFA has about 50 other units around the county, so this will add to our supply of transitional housing. This project will have five units, two bedroom, three bedroom, one bedroom, and those will house about 25 people. So I think one of the, the really exciting things about this project is that we'll be able to, um, to help families who are having challenges. And you know, it's, it's, I think it's one of the most heart-wrenching things is to see kids who don't have a home. And so this project will allow those families to come here and uh, have a place to sleep, and get services they need and to lift them out of homelessness um, before it becomes a chronic condition. And so we're really excited about being able to, to be part of that. 85% of clients in Emergency of Family Assistance Association transitional housing have successfully exited to a permanent housing solution. The 16th Street transitional housing is expected to be complete by fall of 2015 so families can move in before the holidays. Commuting to Boulder just got a little bit easier for those who would like to leave their cars at home. A brand new bus then bike shelter opened up at the Boulder Transit Center at 14 14th and Walnut Streets appropriately on Winter Bike to Work Day this week. The shelter provides 140 bike parking spots that are protected from the weather and more secure against theft and vandalism. The bus and bike shelter also plays an important role in helping the City of Boulder achieve its transportation master plan goals. What we're trying to do is of course uh, reduce our vehicle miles traveled and by facilitating uh, people to be able to use their bicycles as the last mile transportation piece, um, people can reduce their BMTs in that way. This is so important to have the combination of the bikes that people can ride to the, the terminal and then take the, the RTD buses. Uh, we want to get people out of their cars, whether they're riding their bikes or whether they're walking or car sharing, but we want to get people out to the point where they don't use cars exclusively. It's really amazing to look um, within the facility. We have so many new parking spaces for bicycles. It's indoor, it's safe, it's secure, out of the weather. Uh, it's a really uh, easy sign up process through the Bust and Bike uh, website. It's free to get access to the parking. So we're really excited to offer this whole new facility for people, as well as we continue to provide the um, short term bike parking out in front as well. To sign up for the free program and get your key card access to the new shelter, visit BustThenBike.com. As you plan your outdoor adventures for the weekend, Open Space and Mountain Parks wants to make sure you're aware of two temporary closures on popular trails. So Open Space and Mountain Parks will be rebuilding uh, flood damage along the Sanitas Valley Trail. And then the trail closure along the South Boulder Creek Trail is, it's a section of the trail near uh, Highway 36. So in that zone, the Colorado Department of Transportation is rebuilding the South Boulder Creek Bridge. Anytime we have these temporary trail closures, we know people want to get out onto the system and enjoy the trails, but these temporary trail closures are really important and necessary to help infrastructure not only for the state of Colorado, but also for our system here. We're rebuilding damage from the flood along the Cenas Valley Trail, so 
We appreciate the cooperation of the public uh, during these temporary trail closures. For more information about the two temporary trail closures, visit osmp.org. A unique partnership between a CU sorority and the Boulder Police Department is bringing attention to safety on University Hill. As part of the Boulder Police Department presence on University Hill, each fraternity and sorority is assigned a liaison. The liaison is part of the team of police officers who patrol the hill from 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. daily. Last year, instead of keeping him at an arm's length, the ladies of the Kappa Kappa Gamma sorority decided to embrace their liaison, Detective Andrew Kirschbaum. Officer Kirschbaum was available to our sisters whenever we needed him through his email or through the um, phone number on his card. And um, the girls all got to know him and felt that they could reach out to him and that he would be an advocate for us rather than against us. We would have the police here um, at our mixers, our formals, anything where there was a lot of people here. And then he also came to our Monday night meetings and did speeches on how to survive the hill, how to stay safe as a female, um, how we're targeted and what the process behind the mentality of criminals is and how we can better protect ourselves. Not one of our sisters over the last year was the victim of a crime. At the 2014 Panhellenic Awards, the Kappa Kappa Gammas won Chapter of the Year as well as the Sherry Kenyon Risk Management Award, in large part because of their efforts to collaborate with the Boulder Police Department. I think that this needs to stand as a, an example of how it can go right. Given the appropriate framing and appropriate conversation uh, and open lines of communication, that students and CU students and Boulder police officers can actually get along, we can actually work together, and we can actually succeed at the goals that are important to both of us when those goals overlap. And I think everybody can agree that student safety is one of the goals that can overlap. Recently, the sorority surprised Detective Kirschbaum by naming an award after him. We created the Kirschbaum Clement Legacy Award, which will recognize a member of our sorority every year who is living out the values of paying it forward. And the quote under the title of the award reads, you have never really lived until you have done something for someone who can never repay you. And we felt that the relationship that we developed between uh, our sorority and the Boulder Police Department completely embraces this. And instead of being enemies, we're allies. And we really feel that this can be a great addition to the Boulder community as a whole. To find out more about the Boulder Police Department and how they work with the community, visit bouldercolorado.gov police. The Boulder Chamber Orchestra presents Romance with special guest Andrew Sword's violin this Saturday at the Broomfield Auditorium at 7.30 p.m. The Boulder Chamber Orchestra is a nonprofit organization committed to providing exceptional chamber music programming, education, and outreach. For more information and to purchase tickets, visit boulderchamberorchestra.org or call 303-583-1278. Thank you for watching Inside Boulder News. Stay in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter by submitting news tips and questions. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe.